He's Dagogo. What a coincidence meeting you guys here like this. You know, I'll just hang with you guys till my day to rise. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know you again? Dave. She's the real estate agent. Oh. Okay. Well, I like it here. This is like one of the best restaurants in town. Yeah. And it was my date's choice, not mine. No. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Off. What are you doing? Rick! And speaking of my date, Rick. Oh, and thanks for putting up with me. I'll just leave you guys to it. Okay. Rick, let's um just How is it that you know the crazy woman's man? Oh, Rick. He was my old classmate when I was doing my masters in the States. Quite some time ago. Mm -hmm. An old fling? <laughs> Please, Dave, Rick, come on, Ned of the century. Nah, he's not my type. I mean, take a look at the man. Then take a look at you. My Adonis. <laughs> Just that you seemed a bit nervous when he showed up. Um, and so I asked. No, I I wasn't nervous because of him. I was actually nervous because of uh, Miss Dagogo. I mean, I, I know you don't like her. Remembering how you acted the last time she came to our house. I didn't want you to blow your top. So I was really nervous at how you react when she came in here. <laughs> oh, come on, babe. I take that to be the truth, my darling. For I'm going to kill any man who attempts. to take you for
just out of the blues, Grace. Mm. It wasn't even my birthday. Really? Oh, God, girl, I had the most magical night Thank ever. <laughs> Enjoyment. <laughs> ah, I had wait, fun. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what was the highlight of the night? Mm. There were a couple of them. Mm. When I came out, hmm. out of the house. Yeah. Oh God, you need to see how he complimented my look. Ooh. And your girl was looking close <laughs> always. Grace, hmm? you need to see how Dave was looking at me. Of course. Girl, you need to see that stare like this. No, Grace, I'm serious. Okay. Like five years with Dave, he has never looked at me that way. Mm. Oh, God. At some point, I, I felt he was looking at my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grace. So what happened? This is the gist you've been waiting for. <laughs> the high point of it all. Uh -huh. When we got home. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm still thinking of it. You remembering everything the way he was touching me. Oh God, he couldn't get his hands off me. He was just all over me, girl. He was just ah oh, ah. Oh. It was hot. We did everything. In fact, you don't want to hear that part. That's it. It was magical. It was intense. It was passionate. I'm so happy for you, <laughs> Dave. Is something else. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. mm. you enjoyed yourself. Oh, please, you can you say love that again. Romance. <laughs> mm. You don't like romance. Stop it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. With an intense night like that, mm -hmm. well planned romantic oh. night with Dave. Mm. So you didn't end with a proposal. Don't you think you should end with a proposal? Chris, can you stop? I mean, can you stop? What's wrong with you? Must everything be about proposal? Oh, please, 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 just stop. This is my life we're talking about. Not some stories on your on your blog or on the magazine column. Get real. You're just angry now, now, I now. beg, I beg, I beg. You get me angry sometimes and I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry now. Why are you doing like this? But you said the night was intense, right? Yeah. Very intense. That's it. Very, very. So why do you ask? I was just thinking, no, just thinking that maybe with that intense night and you said it was quieter than normal. Mm -hmm. Maybe you wanted to do something and suddenly develop cold feet and couldn't go forward. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there were a lot of distractions that night. Maybe. Please, please. Grace, stop. Stop putting ideas in my head. I mean, Dave is a very thoughtful man. Yes, I mean, if, there's, if there was something he wanted to do, he would have done it. Mm. It was just a, a wine and dine night for us. That's, that's what it is. Okay. It wasn't. Well, no. if you say so, no problem. But you know what? Oftentimes than normal, men speak words, but sometimes less using non-communication skills, you know. And maybe Dave, you know, just trying to do something, get you to get into that puzzle, find out some things that will lead to proposal. Excuse me, madam. The chief editor wants to see you concerning the recent success of your blog. Thank you. I'll be with you soon. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All I'm asking for is a proposal now. How many years of dating? Please, please. Don't be angry. Please, please. Can you stop? Please, let me quickly go and see my editor. I'll be with you soon. Don't be angry now. No problem. Why Take you your vex? time. Yeah? This one, you vex. Don't be vexed for me. Please, please, please. Just stop. No, but serious. I'm not happy about ah, it. I've heard I'll you. See Engage me. Ah, please, please. <laughs>
supposed to say it at first. You ain't supposed to say it ever. How can you ever imagine that I will not read your blood someday? You're not ever interested in reading any of my stories. You read this all because you were bored waiting for me. That does not give you the right to put my story out there for the public to ridicule me. I mean, you were my friend. Have you run out of stories or ideas or something? What is wrong with you? Yes. Yes. I ran out of ideas. I didn't know what to do. I was almost losing my job. <laughs> and I saw your story, very interesting story, impactful story. And then I used it. I'm sorry, my friend, it had to be you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend, please forgive me. I didn't put your secret there. You and Dave, you're anonymous, okay? You know the saying, two can keep a secret if only one is dead. Please. And you are dead to me. Carol, you need to learn from people's comments. You need to learn, people are enjoying your story. Learn from people's comments. People have said things about you. Read and learn. Get engaged and get married. Learn. Learn. There is a big day tomorrow. I need your head in the game. Oh, for the optimist time, Frank, come on. My head is in the game. You know how long it took me to get this investor? Of course I know, man. I know. Listen, listen my head is in the game. I'm focused. Mm. Yeah. But a uh, chicken bum like Carol, I'm not too sure. Listen, nothing can go wrong too Nothing will go wrong. Everything that needs to go right will go right. Frankie, calm down. Come on, man. What's wrong with you now? What, you don't trust me anymore? I've cut this. Have I ever let you down before? No. Listen, I understand your fears about Carol. I get it. Okay, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, Carol can be... It's okay, she has her struggles. It's just sometimes she gets, you know, really, really depressed and, 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 you know. Okay, see, that, that, that there, that is not good. All right? You know, your woman is impulsive and unpredictable. Come on. I don't want to talk about my woman. I don't want to talk about her. Listen, I don't understand what you're saying. Maybe it's just PMS. And maybe you should put a baby in her since you chickened out of proposing to her. What? And then expect her to still stay with you. Really? Frank, come on. What, a child out of wedlock? An illegitimate child? Come on, even Carol knows that's not possible. Nah, I don't play like that. Nah, I won't do it. What? Dave? Are you serious? Dave. What? You know you take complicated to a whole new level. What have I done now? You know what? Just get your A game tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. promised Grace I'll pick a fight with him and and then he has to propose to get me back. <laughs> but I'm no match for you, Dave. 
<sighs> your words. The way your way with words. Your charm. Your sweetness. Gosh, I can't. I, I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can win it. <sighs> Maybe I should run away. Yes. I mean, take the coward's way out. But then that will make me a coward. What do I do? I hate you. I love you. Oh God, I'm so stuck. I don't know what to do. I love you so much, as much as I hate you. I wish you... I wish you would just do right by me. Just do the freaking right thing. Come Richard. Get your act together. You have to end this. You have to. Grace and Avance are right. They are. I've been a fool for too long. I can't afford to be a fool forever. I can't. No. <sighs> this is insane. This is insane. This is crazy. Babe? Babe? Yes, babe. I'm off. Okay. <laughs> See who looks great. See who looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. I see you decided to wear your favorite suit on a special day. I have to impress now. Mm. Huh? You do. You yeah. look great. Thank you. Mm. You're going to wish me good luck now, Oh. You? Good luck, darling. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Come here. I'll see you later. Have a great day. See you later. Have a great day. I was just about to put my phone on silent and then your call just came through. What's up? Hello? Hello? Babe, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Dave, we need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't talk. No, no, we can't. No, not now, baby. No. I told you that investors are coming this morning. Of course, you know today is my big day. We talked about it. You know, we, we prayed on it, right? The time is now. As I speak, they're just they're just walking their way upstairs. We're in the boardroom already. Can I can can, can I call you when, when we're done with this, please? We are talking right now, Dave. Now. You know what? This is not going to take time. As soon as we're done, I, I will call you. Okay? No. Okay. All right. All right. I, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. All right. Yeah. Love you. Bye. All right. Mhm. Mm we're good. I I think I've got this one under control. It's fine. We're good. We're good? You're asking me? Yeah. Our brand has gotten to a point where we can confidently tell you that we are one of the best on the continent of Africa. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. 
Please leave a message after the beep. We deliver excellence and professionalism in a very safe and professional environment. I said, don't touch me! Then you must be clinically insane to think you can ignore me. Are you mad? I can't think of what? To think that I was talking to you on the phone and you got your call and then switched off your phone on me. Are you insane? Carol, calm down. Don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Now you listen to me, baby, to work. I need your attention and I need it right now. Okay, gentlemen, please. I have had enough of this rubbish. This is an absolute waste of my precious and very expensive time. I did not come all the way from the States for all this drama, Frank. Mrs. Koka, I am so sorry. No, no, no. no let's go. We need to leave right now. I am so sorry. This, we can sort this out. David. What have you done? What, what have you done? What did you just see? Could... No, what did you just what? Out! What? what did you out. talk to me? Out! Did you just ask me what have I done? Oh, no! Okay, I want both of you to listen to me very carefully. Since you insist on acting like children, I will address you two as kids. What do you think this is? The Dave and Carol show? I told you, keep your shit at home! Now after that's been said, Carol, please leave this office right now or I'll get security from a bundle you out of here. Think this is far from over, then you have something go coming for you. Meet me at, at home. Just. I want to keep your shit at home. You will get a bill of what this disaster has cost this government and you will pay for the damages yourself! <laughs> 